Welcome, my chingus, to episode 87 of This Week in K-Pop. In this episode, we will talk about CLC, Cosmic Girls, Fiesta, Jimin and Shumin, Miss S, Ra D, Wendy and Eric Nam, and Yuju and Sonyul. My name is Steven, and this is my lovely, lovely, kind of an asshole. A little bit. Kind of a butthole, because he's beating me in a video game. That is Josh Hello. right here. Hello. Yeah, we've both been obsessed with... Uh, uh, this this new iOS or, or mobile game, uh, yeah. uh, Clash Royale, you should never play it because no. it takes all your life and your money. No, but if you do play it, join our clan. We're called Raffle Town. R-O-F-F-L-E. Anyways, uh, <laughs> this podcast is not about games. It is no. about K-pop. And uh, this podcast covers yeah. the last two weeks of K-pop releases. And yeah. we always, always pick our favorite songs of the last two weeks to yeah. share with all the hundreds and maybe thousands of robots that watch this. Yeah, every mindless week. clicking, downloading robots. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so um, this week we're going to try and uh, make things a little bit more uh, efficient, concise. concise. Yeah. Uh, we're trying a new thing. We're going to talk about uh, pretty much, we're taking what normally is part three and we're going to actually do an after show with yeah. that. So, I think we haven't done an after show for maybe two weeks. Two weeks. Two or three weeks now. Because of sickness. Or two or three podcasts, I should yeah, say. Yeah, because I was sick, and then yeah. you were sick, yeah. and, uh, you know. Sorry, it happens. Guys. It I'm happens. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but let's just get started get with my favorite song of the last two weeks. And this this episode is going to be like duet central, because yeah. there's a lot of duets. And That's like the new coming. thing now. Spring is coming. Uh, is it coming? It was it was really cold yesterday. Yeah. In, in Korea. Yeah, I, I made soup because it was so cold. Yeah, it snowed like last week. Yeah. But spring's coming. Um you would you would definitely think spring is coming if you're watching these music videos. Um so the first song is by Jimin and Shumin. Jimin from AOA and of course Shumin, I hope I'm saying that right, from XO, with their song Call You Bay. Baby, I'm pretty young and bright and so fine. 그냥 야 하면 안 될까 나와 나 같이 감기가 어색하니 거리가 점점 좁혀질 수 있을까? You want time? Then I am. 보기에는 내가 애왜왜 열두 시 전에 집에 가라 해. 엄마 아빠 여행 갔는데 지금 나 배고파. 오빠 치킨 먹고 갈래? 야 잠깐만 너는 오빠한테 자꾸 이럴 거야. 예의 없어 보여도 난 네가 좋아, baby. you watch our uh, now probably defunct series, yeah. the K weekly K-pop update, yeah. uh, you know, we, we like to call this the double min gum, yeah. and it is my favorite song of, of the episode. Yeah. Um, for a very, very long time, uh, yeah. we've been wishing and wishing for more collaboration between studios, yeah. and this year SM, obviously they got our... They got the message. They, got, they watch our... They listen to our podcast. Yeah, they yeah, definitely listen sure. to our podcast for every sure. every week. Confirmed. Confirmed. And Confirmed. So they were like, all right, we're going to really start loading out our people, not just for their station stuff, right? right. But for things like this. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, you know, if you like G-Men, mm -hmm. of course... AOA's nasally rapper. Yeah. You know her voice when you hear it. Yeah, she was on, um, on Pretty Rap Star as well. Yeah, um, if you like that, I think this is, um, this is like, you know, like if you like Puss, like yeah. I like, I love Puss. You know, I, you know the song, the song, and and maybe the other thing, but like yeah, he has two cats also. I do like I I three. Okay, my my sister will get mad at me. I had three cats. I don't have three cats. Mm. Um, but now I'm confused. 
What was I going? Through? Oh yeah. yeah. If you like uh, G-Men's normal kind of rapping voice, this one is actually like a little bit more like sing rappy, a little yeah. bit more bubbly. Yeah. Um, but the tone of her voice is still kind of the same. So like, yeah. if her tone of voice is like nails on a chalkboard for you, mm -hmm. then this song is not going to change your yeah. mind. I do have to say Schumann's voice in this is really good, and the singing parts that Jimin has are also very good. The rapping mm. itself isn't uh, her typical style of rapping, but it is more of a kind of poppy style of rapping. Yeah, like yeah. I, for me, like, you, you know, I like this song primarily actually for Schumann. Like, yeah, same. Like the rapping part that Jimin does is fine, and it's got kind of like the catchy like mm -hmm. ping pongs that we like. Yeah. Um, but the main thing is is Schumann, and then yeah. when Jimin comes in and kind of sings along with him, like yeah. that's, I think that's yeah. the best part. Yeah, Schumann is definitely the meat and potatoes of this. Uh, for me, I'm just really glad to see that uh, SM is kind of going in a lot of different routes, like, uh, it would be really strange to see SM just all of a sudden start something like brand new mm. and it would shock a lot of people. Uh, I think SM is kind of handling this the right way with the station and like how they're kind of loaning out their more popular kind of idols mm. to other kind of genres that are a little bit different than what SM does, but not too different that people kind of get shocked. Yeah, so they're not all of a yeah. sudden like we're doing dubstep, right? Yeah, we're doing yeah, fucking yeah. ska, right? Yeah. So later on, yeah. if they do kind of pursue something like that, they were like, they can say, "Oh, well, Schumann did this before," or uh, you know, Yuna had a duet of ten centimeters that it did something more acoustic-y, yeah. like you know, Wendy's. Wouldn't yeah, we'll talk more about the station yeah. stuff in yeah, a bit. Yeah. Um, but I do want to say that like the music video is just it's so cute, mm. right? Like, and. There are uh, like kind of the station music videos mm -hmm. either have been just like slideshows of pictures or like kind of just like a home video yeah, jaunts in the video, woods yeah. or fun things. But like this one is like a real music video. Yeah. Um, you know, it's in a set that we've seen before, but mm -hmm. like they have those dudes with the emoticon faces mm -hmm. that adds this whole nother like yeah. level of cuteness. Yeah. Um, it, it could have been very boring, but their use of one props and two of just moving pieces, I thought mm -hmm. made the music video more lively. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't really hate it, um, but just to have kind of more content and like more things happening without it being really super jumpy, uh, it was something that I really, really enjoyed, though. Yeah. Uh, so I really like this song. Let's move on yeah. to Josh. So my favorite song of this week uh, is by a producer that I've liked for a very long time. Uh, it's Roddy with I Want You. certain kind of songs that Roddy makes and this is definitely that kind of song uh, it is a little bit more on the baby making side of things not I wouldn't say R&B but Roddy is like kind of yeah like he, a love making ballad kind of it's not really a ballad either it's more it's really like kind of poppy to a extent 
Um, yeah, a little bit. So it has like guitar elements into it. it has a little bit of electric guitar as well. And Raw D, I think, really showcases his vocal like ability because he's really known for being a producer. But over the years, he has established himself as a singer, and he's a great singer. So this song it has enough catchiness in it. It definitely has enough funk, and Raw D definitely gets to just kind of have fun with his voice. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a song that like. You play and you definitely get the feeling of like, I want to have yeah. a little bit of sexy time. A little bit um, of baby making. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the music video itself mm -hmm. is like, it's kind of, it, I think it's really yeah. cute. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, it's a very simple thing yeah. in, a, in a set that's shown yeah. in a billion videos. But yeah. it's everybody can relate to the feeling of like, you're sitting next to the girl or guy that you have a crush that on. Sexual attention. Yeah. You're like, oh man, I want to I wanna touch their hand, but I, you yeah. know, I don't know if I should touch their hand. I want to kiss wanna them, make, yeah. but I, I don't know if I should. Like, um, and, I, and it kind of fits, you know, I don't know exactly what the lyrics are saying, mm -hmm. right? But the feeling of the song and the feeling of the music video I thought matched... Uh, pretty well yeah and i mean roddy's voice is i mean it's so unique right yeah. it, it you know i think he was like your favorite singer for like for this type of music for a very long mm -hmm. time yeah when we used to go to like the the Nordebang the, yeah Nordebang or like i would karaoke sing a rooms. lot of roddy songs yeah yeah um and you know i think you're you're you being known for like the falsetto high voice guy comes mm -hmm. from like from the raw d you know yeah, yeah. and um, his voice is also very trembly which I think really fits with the theme because the theme of the song is basically like the moments before you're making out with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, G Men's and Shoe Men's is also like kind of like that too, yeah. right? We talked we talked a little bit about it in the weekly update, but that song and this song kind of are like pre making out, pre baby making making. Yeah, pre like the the lead up to. Some sexy time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, call you bae, I want you, you know, the, yeah. the names are pretty yeah. on point there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, G-Men's and Schumann's, it says, it's call you bae, but there's kind of like a pun in there as well. And Roddy's is just straight, straight up. up, I want you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, you know what else I want? What? Audiobooks. Do ya? Yeah. I mean, I want a lot of things, mm. but audiobooks is something that, uh, you know, I'd like to call... Bay. <laughs> you're not gonna help me out there? No, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, you know what you should say? You should say, yeah, you're right, because yeah, if you right. wanna call you there's hundred and eighty thousand titles you could call Bay. Okay. Right? And you know, you get to pick one of them to listen for free if you use our code. Uh, it's not a code even, our website, audibletrial.com slash TWIK. You know what? Y even though we did film like last you know, two weeks ago, like normal. Mm. I don't know what's up, but like, I feel really out of it today. I I feel like we're we're just not in the groove because we didn't film a weekly update. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We're we're kind of like on schedule, but like out of routine. You know. Yeah, and plus work started mm -hmm. last week, and yeah. so I feel like so sense of time is also kind of really funky, wonky. Yeah, I feel a lot more tired than I would normally yeah. uh, normally feel, but. Uh, to help cheer us up, you should use audibletrial.com slash TWIK to sign up for a free audiobook because that helps us out directly. Directly. That was the greatest ad read I've ever read I in know. my life. It went a little bit tangential, a little bit awkward. Personal. Personal. We call personal. personal. Yeah. Um, but you know what else is personal? This what? song that I like. Yeah. <laughs> by a group. Uh, well, actually, they're a duo now. Yeah. But this is, um, you know, my favorite song, I think, of 2014. Uh, was Verbal Gent featuring Ken, uh, Kang Min Hee. Mm. And so that led me, she's a member of this group, Miss S, a.k.a. Miss Money. Money or Miss Dollar Sign. Yeah. Um, sadly, they're now a duo. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this song is called <laughs> Don't Speak Without Soul. <laughs> Oh boy, I 
이렇게도 말이 없는 아인지 밤새 동화에 몇 시간도 못 자고 나가도 내가 좋다면 길길 걸었지 아마도 아무렇지 않은 너에 비해서 내 고민은 깊은 바다처럼 심해져 난 너와 좀더 많이 보고 싶대도 넌 기차여행 가득 밀어내 일로 진지한 대화를 나누고 싶어 너에 대해도 알고 싶어 가족 얘기 친구 얘기 심지어 조금만 더 앉아있어줘 <laughs> Miss Money, uh, you know, it was so awkward. I don't know what yeah. I don't know what's going on with you today. What's going on with you? I drank some coffee. Yeah, we just ate a lot. Well, we did just eat a lot of food, and I'm yeah. feeling a little. Oh, my wrist just like popped. Oh man, we're all sorts of problems today. Yeah, we're just not on point today. Yeah. Um, but no, Miss Money. Mm. Uh, maybe you'll know of the other person, which is of course Jace. She was in I'm Pretty Rap Star too. Um, kind of the uh, the older lady rapper. Um, yeah, because Miss Money has been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think this is actually this was like one of those moments where I was like, "Holy shit!" I've been listening to Kayla for way too long. Where mm. they were like, "This is Miss Money's comeback after two plus years," and yeah. I was like, "It can't be two plus years." Like I just, I just listened to their song maybe a year ago, right? Yeah. And I told Josh, I was like, "Hey, yeah. Josh, you remember this video? You remember this video?" And he was like, "No." And I'm like, "What the fuck?" And we watched it, and I realized I did it with Kelvin. Like it was yeah. so long ago. Yeah. Their last release, I did it with with the old co-host. Yeah. Um, and like for me, when he told me like, oh, it's been two and a half years since Miss Money like had a a comeback, and I was like, it's not longer than that. Like I remember, like it being when I first like was really really getting into K-pop. Really. Or something, but uh, might have been a different song. But Miss Money, uh, this song is kind of a. Well, I mean, we can call it a duet because it is two people. Yeah. You have one rapper, one singer. Uh, one of Miss Money's singers, I think, uh, is no longer part of the group. Yeah. Don't yeah. know why exactly, but yeah. maybe it had to do with the fact that they didn't come back for two and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the song is still very catchy, I think. And it has a lot of Miss Money elements. The singing is great. The mm -hmm. rapping is not too abrasive in like tough guy style it really really fits the song i think yeah i think the problem with you know of the unpretty rap star too that i watched like i think the problem with jace is like whatever character that they like try to come up with for her show is mm -hmm. kind of like the more edgy like yeah. like i can rap like a real rapper you know but like and then that didn't come off well because she's not actually that good at that kind of rapping mm -hmm. but like i think her rapping in miss money has always been pretty dang good yeah like, uh, i agree like i've always liked miss miss s because they had a great singer. They had. They were one of the few groups that I could have remember that had a female that could that yeah. could rap. Like um, a good a good package of singing and rapping that wasn't cringe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't like you know. Now of course there's way better rappers and all sorts mm -hmm. of things. But like at the time. Yeah, uh, but you know I I love this song because a I mean it's got that brand new music uh, uh, flair to it. Mm -hmm. Like it has these like tempo kind of random kind of tempo changes or not tempo uh random like rhythm changes mm -hmm. where like it just gives you a little bit of like uh, of investment into the song yeah. where like the whole song just doesn't sound the same yeah. which is i think one of my major issues with with a lot of k-pop songs is just like a lot of the song just kind of sounds the same and so yeah. that's why i always gravitate towards these like yeah you know I think to another person, the song might sound really boring or mm -hmm. really, really generic. But like for me, it, you know, it has that little pew that yeah. like I just uh, yeah. down with. And I mean, you might think that Steven and I are very picky because we have said in the past, like we don't like when two songs or, or songs are too like kind of disjointed. We call it frankenstein -y. And we also don't like songs that don't have any ups and downs into it. Uh, but the best way we can describe it is that if the song has like catchy elements, we're okay with it being one way or the other. 
Yeah, but the the rhythm change is not Frankenstein. It's just yeah, like yeah. It, it's yeah. not a, it. The beat doesn't change. It just yeah, yeah. Ha, she, she uh, when Kang Min he is singing, she yeah. has the, her the rhythm in her singing pattern changes. Yeah. It's not the actual song that changes. Yeah. So I, I, I it's totally different to yeah, that yeah, for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, this this song I feel the catchiness is the way she sings it and is the way that she kind of wraps it and the way that they kind of choose their like tones mm. um, that makes it really really catchy yeah but yeah, yeah in, a, in a week of a lot of big name people like this was this I, was also really surprising yeah, yeah i like that miss money yeah well my song that i want to talk about that i want to recommend is uh wendy featuring eric nam with spring love SM Station song. It yes. came out two weeks ago, yes. or, or the week uh, prior to the last. Yes. Um, and Wendy of uh, Red Velvet fame and Eric Nam of Eric Nam fame uh, collaborate in this kind of acoustic song, right? Yeah. And it kind of falls under that um, one category of it, it's not too up and down. It doesn't have a lot of like ups and downs. Mm -hmm. It's very... Uh, throughout it's an acoustic song where the chorus and the the verse kind of have the same chord progression mm. and it's the same instrument they don't really have a lot of layers to it mm -hmm. but the reason why i like this song so much is uh one uh they both have really good voices and two they harmonize with each other very well mm. yeah um this song was almost my favorite song of the week just by the harmonies alone hmm yeah I mean, I don't like the song as much. Mm. I, I do think that um, it it's kind of boring mm. um, for the most part. Like, I, I, it's not a bad song or anything, but mm. like, it, it has exactly what I was saying, where it just it's kind of the same ish, same ish song. Like, uh, sometimes you know, we watch Weekly Idol. Mm -hmm. We've talked about Weekly Idol, but tons. Um, Weekly Idol is a variety show, but it has this section where it's like the random play section. Yeah, random where play dance. They'll you know, someone will play a random part of a song and then that group has to dance that specific part, right? Yeah, that choreography um, from that that specific point in time. Yeah, and the reason I bring that up is because, I, like, this song for me would be yeah. really hard for that because the whole song is so same soundy, yeah. right? Um, and that's kind of the drawback, at, it, uh, at least for me. But, yeah. you know, if you like ballads, and they do have nice voices, yeah. I wouldn't call them, like, amazing voices, right? No, They're not, no, like... No. None of them are like Mamamoo level voices, yeah. or uh, maybe they do. Mm -hmm. This is not that type of song, yeah. right? But yeah. um, I, I personally wasn't like crazy impressed by yeah. either either of their voices. Yeah. Um, so it was either this or Roddy, and I ended up picking Roddy just because Roddy's vocals in that song are just amazing. Yeah. Wendy's and Eric Nam. The reason why I like this song is because I like the tone of their voice. Mm. Not necessarily their vocal ability, but the tone uh, fits with each other very well. Mm. Yeah. Um, I also don't like, you know, while we were, I like the Raw D music video, mm -hmm. you know, the, the 
as we said, the station videos are just kind of like throwaway music videos. Like at least yeah. this one did feature both Wendy and Eric Nam, while yeah. like the last couple didn't. You know, it didn't feature the EXO guy, right? Mm -hmm. um, but like, you know, the music video was just kind of them just having around, fun at a thing and up. you know while that's great if you're a fan of wendy and that's great if you're a fan yeah, of eric right nam as an overall music video like it was just one it was of those very boring kind of boring it was very 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 boring there's nothing interesting in it um and it's it's just them acting cute and yeah. it i mean you can argue that it does fit the theme of the song but it just wasn't interesting i mean yeah. Yeah. but you know we can, I think we can officially really praise Station now, right? Because yeah. they've released, um, like, we're not going to talk about it in this podcast, but the, the the one after this, right, the next Station song is the Yuna from Girls' Generation mm -hmm. and uh, 10 Centimeters, which is yeah. a really, really famous, uh, they're I a band, right? Them, I guess we can call them an indie band. Yeah, right? even, they're, they're like the, though, yeah. the least indie of indie bands, Yeah, right? they're a really famous indie band, like, kind of how Death Cab for Cutie is technically mm -hmm. indie, but they're super, super popular and everybody knows them. Yeah. And yeah. Tencent made it is that way in Korea. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, they, they're really doing, like, a good job of, like, roping in these other people that are just, like, out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. You're just like, like you, you, me, Ray, you're like, what? Right? You mm -hmm. know, Eric, Nam, and Wendy is not something I ever would have thought of. No. Um, Yuna singing was also really not. Yeah. Not I, just, I mean, I you mentioned, of. though, that, like, she doesn't even sound like Yuna in the in yeah. the song, right? Because you know their voices very well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, it just is really cool, you know. Um, to see, like Dio and the producer guy, you know, coming out of nowhere. Uh, I have been informed by 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 listeners that that song is an old song. Like yeah. they sang that song on the first EXO album, and it's shown up in other places. Yeah. Um, so that's a little lame that yeah. I didn't know about. But like, I'm 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 generally excited whenever i see like who's next like yeah. even if i don't like the song right like i didn't really like the wendy and eric Nam one that mm -hmm. much um the yuna one is entirely forgettable to me yeah. um we didn't really even talk about the yumi ray song mm -mm. Uh, but like still with that combination because yeah. right like I, they, they've set a precedent they've yeah. set a precedent that you know the station is going to feature a lot of different music and a lot of different collaborations a lot of artists you might not expect Right, and so they've kind of built up this this excitement, yeah. I think, for you and I, right? But I'm still like I'm still hoping for because these are it's still always like an indie person, right? Mm -hmm. Like Eric Nam is an indie person. Ten right? centimeters, right? Yeah, it's a producer. Right? Yeah, like I'm. Re I I still I want, I want that like, it's never gonna happen, but like an a SM and fucking T O P, or you know, yeah. or. Or an SMYG like, or even an SMJYP. Yeah. That would, that would yeah. be pretty exciting. That would be pretty cool. Probably not going to happen ever, but yeah. uh, like how, there's 42, 43 more weeks of this. So yeah. like, um, I, I really wonder how, how much uh, yeah. they can do. I, I would even settle for a SM and like a Starship. Okay. Yeah. Like get some of that Starship R&B. Like that's the one like thing I want. Go. Yeah, yeah, I want a little bit more R&B from SM. Because yeah. that's something that they've just 100% yeah. completely ignored yeah. pretty much, right? Yeah. Like like the Dio song was like that closest to R&B we're ever going to mm -hmm. get. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that'd be cool. I think that would show yeah. off something that SM has never done, which is uh, yeah. some good old rhythm and baby making. I mean, they did do um, Taeyeon and Verbal Gent, though. Yeah, but that wasn't. That sounded like two though. two whole different songs, though. Yeah, yeah. that no. Yeah. Fuck! How ridiculous would it be if J J Park and like I don't know who would J who Park would go with? Would it be a girl? J Park and J Park and Taemin. <laughs> that would be like two completely Dude, opposite be... people. Like if it was a movie, those dudes would be like arch rivals. That would... That would like set blow my pants on mind. fire, dude. That, that would, or make them opposite. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> like I can't fire. even picture them in the same room together. Yeah, like I can't even imagine w what a conversation between the two would be like. Yeah, like Jay Park's so, like, "What up, B?" And Taemin's just like, eh. like they're <laughs> dancing. Like they're if this if K-pop was high school, right? Like Jay yeah. Park would be like the gangster Asian B boys. Yeah. And Taemin would be like the That weird turtleneck wearing dude. <laughs> like he 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 would be like the The A plus student. 
he would be like but i guess they could like you know bond over dance, dance? that's true yeah. they could bond over dance. Yeah. Uh, you know their dancing styles are uh, totally pretty different, different yeah. but it could dancing it does bring the world it together happen. so yeah. let us pray 2016 let's pray for that uh j park tame in duo because i want to hear see first wanna, if they have if they do that sm 100 percent listens to us yeah okay like confirmed. confirmed yeah um yeah but anyways uh the next song that i want to talk about is no wait what? huh okay that's that's part two okay oh. that's part two you didn't chop it they, that's chopped you see that space in there that's the chop space okay you see that space i'm gonna highlight it. it's right here that's like one page break uh, is it a break? Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. Kit Oh, Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. Um, anyways, uh, so thanks of that, you know, for listening to part one. You should check out part two. We're not doing a part three, though. No. Right? Um, because we want to kind of make things shorter, mm -hmm. right, for the, for the main section of our podcast. That's why I got confused. Uh, I don't know why I got confused, because part one has always been four songs. Yeah, that's Maybe why I thought it would, that's why I would thought it would be longer. That doesn't make any sense. No, because we're having two parts and not three. Josh, we discussed this, and you were playing on your phone, and this I was is why you're not kicking understanding. Your ass in Clash okay? Royale. But I want the reason I stopped him is because I wanted to mention that that part three stuff that we would normally talk about, we're we're going to talk about in the after show. Yeah, it's, we're we're still going to talk about the same number of songs, but, but we're going to try to put more like actual content in the after show. Yeah. And this week's after show is going to have like these three like R and B bangers, like these three songs bangers. that are that they would have been our top picks of the week. Yeah. If yeah, we were actually, we were like really afraid because we were like, all three of these songs don't have music videos. Mm -hmm. um, so that's already kind of breaking that rule, which we've broken yeah. many times. But these songs are like really, really, really good. Um, but we are going to talk about it, that in the after show. So uh, stick around for part two while Josh drinks up this water so he, you know, he can get his throat nice I'm and thirsty. wet. And uh, we can uh, move on. All right, Josh. Part two. You fucked it up. Sorry. If I could edit better, I would edit better, but <laughs> such if a If I could dunk, I would dunk. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's like, you know, there's like hashtag Asian advice. 